Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel if you are new here. My name is Laura Sinyan. I'm a realtor with EXP Realty here in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada, aka, yes, you know it, Dinosaur Capital of the World. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to create a double-sided business card with a QR code in Canva. But before we begin, if you are new here, please subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my uploads and follow me on Instagram at Loden Living. Let's get into the video. All right, so we are first gonna start off here in Canva. So let's just type at the top here, business card because Canva makes everything very easy. Okay, now again, as you can see here, there are a bunch of templates you can use, but I'm gonna show you how I create my business card from scratch. So let's just click a blank template here. So this business card is going to be very similar to what my email signature looks like. So if you haven't watched that tutorial yet, I will link it in the, the cards above and in the description box below. But generally, it's going to look basically the same. So I'm just going to speed up this part. Alright, now that I have the general information, contact information here, now I'm going to add in my photo. I'm going to show you how I do that. So you just want to upload a picture of yourself into Canva using the upload media button here. So I'm just going to size that and what I'm going to do now is remove the background. Okay. So just make sure you position yourself there. That looks good. I'm just going to make this text smaller. Next, I am going to add in a green bar. So that's just a line. If you type in line, you will see that in your elements. So I'm just going to change this to my green color. And I'm going to make it just a little bit thicker. Here we go. And push that to the back. Way to the back. One more thing that I'm going to add is um, residential realtor with EXP Realty. So, so a quick tip here, instead of having to always go to text to have a text box, if you just press the letter T on your keyboard, like this, you'll have a text box there. Oh, and if you also want that R symbol, what I do on my computer, which is an iMac, I do option R and that does the R symbol for you. Next, I'm going to do the icons for the street address, my email, my website, and my phone. That's pretty uh, straightforward. So again, very similar to my email signature, I'm just going to create these dots and put the icons in the middle of them. So I'm just going to fast forward this part once again. Okay, now that we have the icons there. Now I'm going to add in my logo. Okay, now I'm going to add in um, just a little wave line just behind my image here. And I'm going to show you how I do that. So we're going to go into elements. Then you want to go into, I think, lines and shapes. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see this this kind of uh, shape here. So what I'm going to do is just rotate it 90 degrees and just shorten it up like this. And what I'm going to do is change the lines to my brand colors. Like that, like that. There's the button. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna rotate it and I'm going to expand it. Expand it, keep going that 
and I just okay maybe that's a little bit too big just want it kind of behind me and just if you just want to play around with it just keep sizing it down rotating it because I don't want it to hit the text so that looks just about right so what I'm going to do now is push it all the way to the back which then allows me a little bit of room here to put my exp company logo size that down i'm gonna put that right here yes just make it a little bit bigger all right so that's pretty much it for the front now if we go click this page and we, or down here Click the second page now I'm going to be putting the QR code on the back so first I'm going to be inserting a photo so this oops so this is the actual photo I took with my drone last summer this is a viewpoint um, in a drum heller that is very iconic for its views I'm just going to size that down properly here All right so I plan on putting the QR code, QR code here in this area now in regards to the QR code if you have a link tree like this you are able to generate a QR code if you go to your if you log into your account you just want to go to the share button here and then want to scroll down to my link tree code and then you're able to download that QR code directly to your desktop or downloads and from there you can just drag it into your media section like that and that is your QR code. This is a live QR code. So even if you were to change all of these links, it will update itself. So if anybody comes to scan this, it will always be what is live on your link tree. Now, if you don't have a link tree and you just have a website instead, there are many QR code generators you can find for free on Google. So just go ahead and use one of those and then just upload your QR code directly into Canva and just drag and drop. So, and then with this, I always just like to do a little piece of text. So again, I'm just going to say, scan me, please. And then another tip here, if you want like a rectangle, you just press R on your keyboard and that will prompt an R. But I want a rectangle with rounded edges. So go back to your elements and lines and shape. I'm just gonna use this one and I'm just gonna scan or sorry just zoom in a little bit more and then cuz I want the scan me to be on something so it's easy to read All right now that you have your QR code here you can actually test it live using your phone so here I have an iPhone and you just you don't even need an app just go straight to your your camera app and then just go ahead and scan the QR code there and then come on there we go and it brings you straight to your link tree or your your website if you want that instead and that's pretty much it in regards to a double-sided business card with a QR code it's very simple very easy if you want the template of this design here you can leave your name and email in the comment section down below and I will personally email you my template for free. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped. If you liked it and enjoyed, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my uploads. And follow me on Instagram at Logan Living for more content just like this. And until next time, I will see you all next time. Bye friends!